can knock me over with a feather. Just complete surprise. And a man from Plainwell spent 12 years, 12 years building an airplane in his bedroom. Now he holds a rare honor. We have his incredible story in our series in the spotlight. Today is Monday, November 3rd. Good morning. I'm Kirk Mason. But I'm Marcy Koberger. Good to see you here this morning. I wonder what his wife thought about that. Building an airplane in your bedroom. Was that a wing I saw coming out of the... Uh... Yeah, looked like it. I would be in the penalty box on that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's just be honest about it. Let's... And it's time to put West Michigan in the spotlight. We're kicking off a new series highlighting ordinary people who do extraordinary things. This morning you'll meet a man who built an airplane in his house and won a huge award. We are kicking off our In the Spotlight series and look at some average folks with not so average interests. How a local man's able to travel the world because of something he built inside his home. We're kicking off a new series this morning, bringing out the best in West Michigan, ordinary people with extraordinary stories. Alex Jokic joins us live now with Who's in the Spotlight this week. Alex. Marcy, the whole idea here is to highlight our notable neighbors, average Joes who are actually anything but. The first story started with an email I received not so long ago from a guy named Andy. Too often when one hears a news item regarding general aviation, unfortunately it involves a crash of some sort. I'm writing in the hope of giving another story, a happy story. And it is quite a story. This is a Lindbergh Award. Consider it like winning an Olympic gold medal in aviation. And here it sits on a coffee table in Plainwell. You can knock me over with a feather. Just complete surprise. You see, Andy Millen is your average family man, two kids, owns a small business, and just so happened to build an airplane in his house. Oh, you're the house with the airplane in it? Yep, I know right where that is. <laughs> Andy's wife, Teresa. You could say the whole thing really started with her. On Andy's birthday back in 1995, she surprised him with a ride on a B-17. That day, a new dream took flight. Andy decided he wanted to build a plane. A project that size is like eating an elephant. It's one bite at a time. Luckily, he didn't dig in alone. A local pilot named Carlos wanted to help. Struck a uh, friendship right there. And from that day on, it's been you know, best friends, so to speak. Better yet, wingmen. First order of business, well, they needed to build a workshop so they could build the plane. With the understanding that when it was done, it would become our master bedroom. Then Andy and Carlos buckled down into a project that would take them 11 years. We started with the wings. Okay, it's about uh, midnight. Two people doing the work of three. We didn't have piles of cash sitting around. Next, I moved on to the fuselage. Okay, this is what we need to save for, for the next thing. We built the engine from scratch. Listen. We kept pinching ourselves saying, we get to do this. We're the luckiest people in the world. Finally, on Andy's birthday in 2011. Yeah, I darn near cried. The greatest gift since the B-17 ride that started it all. They rolled out the Velocity XL. This has been kind of like a fairy tale story for us. One, one, four, my now we have our magic carpet and we can travel the world. So. You know, almost bring a tear to my eyes. Like, I built this and I, I can't believe it. Neither could the EAA judges in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Proof that persistence pays off. Oh, and so does patience. I not only get an airplane out of the deal, but I get a brand new bedroom, too. <laughs> the Millens hope their happy ending is actually just the beginning. When you see somebody doing something who is an average person, you set off a chain reaction. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Now, Andy tells me he couldn't have done it without the support of the Experimental Aircraft Association, specifically Local Chapter 221. 
Obviously, we had to condense 12 years of hard work into a three-minute story today, but Andy actually documented the entire journey. We'll post a link to his blog on WWMT.com. And we are still looking for great people to feature in this series. Think you know someone who fits the bill? Email us at mornings at WWMT.com. Kirk. Thank you, Alex. You know, most of us worry if we could kind of put a new floor in our bathroom. Right. He built a plane. How he built that? an addition and then he built a plane. Wow. Yeah. 649. Hi, Jeff. Hey, guys. You got a nice new large bedroom out of the deal, too. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad trade-off. Yeah, really nice. Uh, thanks.